I'm here with women's basketball head coach Megan Zekas. Coach Zekas, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and coach, a big season this year. You guys were able to do some damage in the conference tournament, but first, you guys started off strong, had a little bit of a stumble, but then recovered at the right time and had a really good time to get hot, and you guys were able to roll a little bit at the end. What went into that bounce back and eventually getting really back into the groove? Yeah, you know, just, just getting back on the horse. Uh, you know, season's such a long season. It's almost, um, you know, two, two seasons in one where you have our non-conference and then we have early conference in December and then you play a, a Christmas tournament. And then so it's, it's, it's a couple of seasons within a season. Um, so we just, you know, trying to keep our focus in conference season between January and February. It's back to back, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. So it's just telling them like, hey, like we can't dwell on any any wins or losses like we got to keep it moving to the to, to the next game because um, they're coming back to back so just uh tell them like hey the season's long just get into the tournament I and mean, then we can make some things happen just make sure we get in there doesn't matter what seed we want just get in the tournament and then that's when that's when we can make some 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 moves and coach in that middle part of the season you guys were figuring out what lineups worked what lineups didn't work especially with the team that had a lot of young faces mm -hmm. we saw more minutes for Amari Jackson. We saw Daniela Dakota. And mm -hmm. what really went into seeing those players' roles grow? And what did you really like about them that led to that growth? And what other things did you learn about finding players that fit with each other? Yeah, you know, it was a couple of games, you know, where we were just trying to find lineups that worked to win, to win that game. Um, and, you know, uh, Amari Jackson has grown throughout uh, the season, uh, becoming a defensive force. Um, but her offensive game is, is there, too, um, and developing and continue developing. Um, you know, we're really looking forward to her uh, continuing to grow, um, hold it down. Uh, Dakota, you mentioned Dakota, um, you know, uh, that girl can score. I'll tell you that much. That girl can shoot the ball, um, you know, and, and, and being as a freshman, she had to uh, get used to the college game a little bit, but her growth over this year and all the freshmen, honestly, have, have been uh, tremendous. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just amazing to see players grow uh, throughout the season. It's a long season, like I said. Um, but, you know, I'm looking forward to, con to continue seeing them grow as, you know, we only graduate one and Dome Zamora. Um, so continuing that growth, continuing that culture, uh, that Kemp team chemistry is what we're really looking forward to. And you talk about Dome, she was a big player for this team throughout the whole year. Everyone who's watched the mocks know how much of a leader she is on and off the yeah. court for you guys. And she got all conference for the conference tournament. What did that mean to you as a coach and just to the team overall? Um, you know, Domey's a veteran. She was, uh, she's always our calm when the storm happens. Um, you know, and, and she's she's a she's a smart point guard, um, good IQ, and I think she just led us that way. Um, you know, and Domey to have her fruits of labor pay off in that All Conference tournament. You know, uh, having eight rebounds against Nova, uh, and some of those rebounds were huge for us. Yeah. Um, and so, and then able to carry that over to Eckerd. I think she had 15 against Eckerd, and um, you know, not the results we won against Eckerd, but I'm glad. Uh, Dome was able to be recognized uh, for her efforts in that tournament. And you talked a little, about, a little bit about that Nova game and Ecker game. Just talk about how big of a game that Nova game was and also how big it was to be able to contend with a team like Eckerd. I know you guys wanted to win, but the eventual conference champions, mm -hmm. and I think that shows a lot of growth for this young team that a lot of people will be back to run it back next year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the Nova game is, uh, you know, such an awesome feeling, uh, you know, making Sunshine State tournament history, men's or women's side is the first time the number eight seed has beaten a number one seed ever. Um, so, you know, that that's huge for uh, our program. That's huge for our players, our coaches, our staff, but also huge for Florida Southern, right? Um, so we're just excited to be on the good part of history um, it, it, with that and uh, so proud of our ladies for, you know, we played them 10 days prior to that. And I thought defensively we held them to 57, a team that averages 71 points. Yeah. Led yeah. our conference in scoring. And so the message after the game was, hey, like, listen, defense is fine. We just got to score the ball. And so that was our message going in. Um, we got to score the ball. And so, you know, uh, Marissa started our offense and uh, propelling our offense in that third quarter. And then uh, scoring 26 points in the fourth quarter really helped us and had some big threes between Marissa, Ariel, Sid. So I'm just proud of, proud of them and, and finishing off that game. And, and uh, you know, at Nova, it's a hard place to play. It's, I mean, we, we were the first team, first Sunshine State Conference team to beat them at home this year. Um, so just super proud of that. And then, of course, Eckerd, uh, not the results we wanted, but we fought in battle. I think that's the best we've played Eckerd um, since I've been a head coach, honestly. And so uh, when we were at Eckerd in, uh, I think it was in early January, we lost by like 16. Um, so being able to lose 
I think it was like six, seven. Um, but we fought to the end, and it, again, it was just we had a foul at the end. But I was just proud of our effort from our ladies. And coach, you talked about the effort from your team, and we saw a lot of growth from those other players who have been here for a little mm -hmm. bit. In Ariel Sid in her yep. second year, and then obviously Marissa Jenicky, who's made a big jump in the last few games with her shooting. What are you looking forward to them continuing to work on in this off season, and then obviously going into the next season of hoops? Oh, I'm just continuing going as players. You you know the conference now. You know what it has to take to win it. You know what it takes to to beat these teams, and so just carrying that growth over and that experience over, and making sure you know you don't have any regrets your senior year. Um, you know, we, we have five seniors next year, so it's n not having those regrets and making sure, hey, we're all on the same page and we're, we're playing as champions, we're taking reps as champions, we're practicing as champions on and off the court. And so to me, that's the biggest is, is our leadership needs to grow a little bit and continue to grow um, with that. But I think growing that chemistry more and um, experience was going to help us a ton. Awesome. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in, Coach. Appreciate you. And then any other announcements going into this offseason or? Just rest and get ready for the next one. We got postseason, but we're going to enjoy two weeks off. Uh, I say off for me, but for, for the ladies, I actually sent them a text this morning. I said, enjoy being a normal student for two weeks. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's crazy. It, uh, just the culture in this team. And, uh, you know, I had two freshmen shooting in the gym the day after we lost. Um, so that Friday uh, after our season ended, the next day we had freshmen shooting in the gym. So that to me is just the kind of standard and culture that we have here. And I'm just so proud of that. And, um, so happy to lead these young women. Awesome. Well, thank you, Coach. Looking forward to talking to you more at the start of next year and super excited to see what's to come for I you I appreciate guys. you and covering us all year. I really yes. appreciate it. Thank you. We love watching you and covering you is pretty easy. I appreciate it. Everyone, too. Thank you so much. All right. And that's all for the interview today. And make sure to keep posted with the women's basketball team as they'll start their next season next year. Men's basketball, like we talked about in the other interview, they'll be playing this weekend and the Lady Mocks will definitely be cheering them on. Yeah, good luck, man.